What is going on guys, Bobby here, and today we got another great video for you guys. So I'm sorry we've taken a little bit of a break. We focused a lot on streaming on the second channel. We've been doing a lot of work towards that. So make sure you guys make sure, Ock, make sure you guys make sure, that's it. Please make sure you guys are subscribed to that because it is going to be all of myself and OG's competitive gameplay. Just basically everything that SSG does, we're going to include some scrims in there. Um, just a lot of really intense competitive gameplay. If you guys want to learn a lot about Brawl Stars and take yourself to the next level, something I would recommend in how I learned how to be good is just by watching people who are really good at the gameplay, uh, learning tricks that they do. So just subscribe to the channel, watch the gameplay, take 10 minutes out of your day. And you guys are actually going to see really vast improvement on your Brawl Stars gameplay. So what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys the top five Brawl Star, uh, uh, Brawlers, sorry, not Brawl Stars, in Hot Zone. So today it's a two-zoned map, which is really, really cool. Um, it's one of my favorite maps in the game. So we're just going to hop into the game. We're going to, we're going to, or hop into the games. We're going to play five games, one with each Brawler in the top five. So with that being said, let's get into the first game and show you guys what the number five Brawler is in Hot Zone. Okay, so here we go into the first game, and the number five brawler that we're going to be talking about is Frank. So Frank, obviously, um, is a very strong brawler, and we are going to put him at number five, because what you see a lot in Hot Zone is more control-based brawlers. Um, and Frank, obviously, is the opposite. He's not a control-based brawler at all. He's a very strong brawler, does a lot of damage, has a lot of HP. And that's actually really, really good for when you have position. So it's a little bit hard to get position with Frank off the start. But once you get that original position, um, he's a force to be reckoned with. So you guys can see they're going to have a very difficult time taking us out of the zone. We're going to waste our super, unfortunately, but it's going to be fine. We have a ton of HP. So eventually we're going to get that back. Obviously, our super is really, really good. So we're just going to go and use this jump pad here with a uh, cart, maybe. Oh, I guess not. We're going to jump on this max tie the zone and we're just going to auto aim away one more shot and there we go we have the zone now this isn't really the greatest position for us right here because we don't have much hp we get jumped on by this crow the crow should take us out but that's going to be fine because the mortis is going to jump on so now again this is a top five for all of hot zone not necessarily just this map um, and this map is a little bit difficult for Frank since it's so open. I'm trying to make him work. It's a little bit difficult on this map, obviously, as you guys can see. But uh, Frank is 100% a top 5 hot zone brawler. Um, and that's without a doubt. Most maps, especially um, Stone Fort, if you guys remember that map, Frank is dangerous, dangerous in and he's just an absolute force. Especially in the one zone maps when you have position. So since um, we have the lead, I'm just going to stand in this zone and make sure that we continuously have this for the entirety of the game the bow is going to try and do something perhaps not sure um they're trying to make a move this is just going to be an easy super to keep them out uh going to be hit by a bow mine but we have so much hp it doesn't really matter going to push up and just go in these bushes and that's going to be game so this is the number five brawler for hot zone again it wasn't really the greatest game for frank or the greatest map for frank but in all hot zone maps frank is the number five brawler in hot zone now let's move into the next game and let's reveal who number four is going to be okay so here we go into our next game and the number four brawler for hot zone is going to be b um no pun intended there um so the reason b is so good obviously she's one of the best brawlers in the game has tremendous range and it's just really good at holding down position especially with her extra life star power so you guys can see uh, we're getting 2v1 here and it's actually their close zone. So this one's going to be a little bit difficult to win, but we're working on it right now. Uh, we were able to get the Sandy, but we got to heal up over here. Going to make a move forward, get this Jesse to waste a shot. Going to try and charge our 3k shot. There we go. We're able to do so. Going to use our super. Jesse gets slowed down and we're going to be able to get that kill. Uh, Cart's going to be able to get a kill over there on that side. And there we go. Uh, we have positioning over here. Spend struggling a tad. Gonna save my 3k shot for the Jesse. Gonna get the hit. We really need cart to hit uh, that turret. We're gonna be able to get that. And there we go. Uh, doing a really good job so far. Um, let's see. We're gonna 3k shoot that Daryl. We did just waste our super though. Get a 3k shoot him again. Should be able to be well protected here. So we don't have our extra life, which kind of sucks but we should be fine without it oh as i say that we go down so we're at a point uh we did actually just dominate that position for a good amount we're kind of at a point where we can just hold on to one objective for the rest of the game and we'll be fine so i guess that's what we're gonna do over here just hold on to this one point uh as we do have the lead i'm gonna step out and try and charge my 3k shot because obviously that's a lot of damage we want to be able to do a lot of damage card's gonna jump over we're gonna help spend right here 
uh, just winning this. Going to be able to get the kill. This map is really interesting because of the double zone. Uh, let's just get that quick kill over there. Card's doing a really, really good job at just doing damage and staying alive. Going to be able to take him out. Card's going to be able to get a kill, and that's going to secure the game for us. So four seconds left, three, two, one, and that just showed how strong B was. We're able to just kind of walk around and do damage uh, wherever we chose. Uh, wherever we wanted to do anything, we were just able to get a kill. We have the range. We're able to take out turrets really well. Uh, you're able basically to take out any brawler and then obviously the extra life. Or, sorry, not the extra life. The honeycoat is just absolutely broken. So, Frank and B are pretty good in some maps. Um, they're, not not, they're not necessarily amazing all-around brawlers. But the final three and the top three brawlers I'm about to talk about are absolutely amazing everywhere. So, let's hop into the top three. Let's talk about the number three brawler. Let's get into the next game and show you. Okay, so here we go into the next game, and we're going to be going with Nita. So now, again, this is a little bit more of a ranged map, but Nita is really, really good here. So we're going to use the jump pad and jump in, because we want to get more to a medium-ranged uh, confrontation than a ranged one. So we're going to be facing Mr. P. Mr. P, obviously a really annoying brawler, and I actually left him out of my top five, so he'd be number six for me. Um, and I just leave him at number six because I don't think he's that powerful when it comes to holding down his own Yes, he's really really good um, As a brawler and winning lane, but when it comes to just holding his own, I feel like there's a lot better options than him um, So we're just gonna be shooting over here and entering his own He also definitely has difficulty with as you guys can see he's not really hitting us at all um, Not really doing too much damage and you definitely do need a star power for him to be effective so he hasn't even entered the zone yet because he is too squishy to just walk in and deal with us. So we are going to have to move back because he finally, after a very long time, was able to win uh, the lane and just chip us down. The penguin is going to activate this, which I also want to go on with my bear. Oh, my bear. Oh, there we go. Okay, I thought my bear didn't go on for a sec, but here he is. He's going to help us push Mr. P back. Oh, no way. Oh, I thought he was going to jump back for a sec. We're going to get this shot on Sandy, maybe. No, we're not able to. But we just got to hold this one zone for us to be fine. So this is looking pretty good. As well as they have the... Uh, they're tied on the zone to the left, and that's all we really need at this point. Spen's doing an amazing job on Sandy. And we're just 1v1-ing penguins over here. Because apparently that's all we have to do. So there's a Sandy coming near us. We do have to be a little bit careful about a Sandy. Uh, but we are doing a pretty good job so far at not getting hit and hitting it. We're going to approach it over here. We're going to do some good damage. We're going to be able to get the kill, but we're going to have to back up and regen. Uh, we're going to take out this penguin over here, but we're just going to go jump right back on. Even though we are probably going to die, it's the fun thing to do. So we're just going to jump on. So eight seconds left, seven seconds, six. And obviously, Nita, really, really good. Um, reason she's the number three brawler in hot zone is just because of really good area control. Her bear is really good, pushes people back, counters a lot. And that is why she's the number three brawler in hot zone. Let's move on to number two, which you guys are not going to be shocked by at all. Let's just move on to it and show you guys what it's going to be. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And the number two brawler for hot zone is going to be Sandy. Now, Sandy is a really obvious choice. Oh, uh, very interesting. We're actually facing double tank. But Sandy is a really obvious choice. Uh, the positioning and the control is just out of this world with Sandy. Um, her sandstorm is the main reason for this. Um, obviously, one of the best supers in the game, especially when it comes to control. You guys can see it right here. Um, we're able to get a kill, and obviously Sandy does struggle against tanks because it doesn't do too, too much damage. But we're able to get our super, help Spen get position, and just hold on to the zones. We're going to jump over here because I feel like this is where the tanks are going to go. Um, only one of them, but we were able to get the kill, so that's really good. I'm going to put our sandstorm down. wasn't the greatest use, but... I guess it was all right. Going to get some shots over here. Jump up with this Nita, and we're going to be able to get that kill really easily. They're double tanking on the right side, so I guess I'll just stay in here since Spen jumped over and just collect the points in this area. Spen's able to get the kill. Uh, Nita's going to jump over, and I believe we win this 1v1. It's an even amount of shots, but I think we have a little bit of a faster uh, recharge time. So we're doing a pretty good job. 20 to 4 right now, and obviously Sandy's just dominant because of the sandstorms we're going to put this out this is immediately not going to let uh nita regen so nita wouldn't be able to regen anyway so nita just kind of ran away uh frank's going to jump in obviously we can't 1v1 a frank we've got to kind of chip him down so we're going to get some a few shots off on him we're going to put our super down which isn't going to let him regen uh didn't know spen was jumping in so that kind of wasted our super over there but i suppose we got the lane anyway so it doesn't really matter um, I feel like they might have given up at this point. Again, same thing now. I gotta just move back. 
not get too close to this Frank. Uh, get some shots off. Sven's going to jump in. He's going to be able to get the kill. And again, maybe not necessarily in this map um, 100%. But Sandy is the number two brawler when it comes to hot zone for the incredible control with the star power and uh, with her super, obviously. And that is going to be why Sandy is the number two brawler in hot zone. Now, number one is, in my opinion, really, really obvious. I don't know if you guys will agree with it, but let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what the number one brawler in hot zone is. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we go into our final game and we're going to be going with M's. Now, M's in my opinion is by far the best brawler in hot zone and it's just a lot to do with the hot zone mechanics you guys can see how big the hot zone is i'm just waiting oh well, i guess a tick's gonna go right here which is gonna be an easy kill for us you guys can see exactly how big the zone is the zone is basically the exact size of an m shot and one m shot maximum damage is about 2.5 thousand if you line it up correctly and to be honest, there's just no way that any brawler can actually just straight up in a 1v1 take out M's uh, when it comes to hot zone. Just the way that the game mode is set up, the size of the zones, M's is just by far the superior option in every single way compared to any brawler. You can pinch people, you can shoot people at range, obviously. You can take out tanks really easily. There's just no better option when it comes to hot zone than M's. You guys can see that right now. We're just kind of tearing through the other team with it getting multiple kills easily holding position going to be able to do some good damage over there take out the tick and i mean it's just very 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 easy with m's and that is why she is the number one brawler basically just due to the fact that her shot is exactly the size of the hot zone it's exactly what you need to do maximum damage and just because of that she's basically a broken brawler in this mode um we've done an excellent job so far holding this lane this is even close to her best map and you guys can still see how well she performs we're able to take out jesse because the jesse is not able to come into the zone we're a little bit low so we're going to back off but we're able to use our super to slow down the daryl which is going to help cartridge get the kill and you guys can see we're going to continue running through these guys um just nothing that they can really do they can't come close to us or we're just going to spray them down and get them killed um, and if they do end up coming too close to us, we have a super that just allows us to get away. And these are the reasons why Ems is 100% the number one brawler in hot zone. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely let me know because Ems is an absolute beast. And you guys should all be using Ems in hot zone. And especially these other brawlers as well. Obviously, it's dependent on the map. But I would recommend using all five of these brawlers as much as you can in hot zone. Hot zone being a 24-7 mode, you guys can get all these brawlers as you see for me. Outside of Sandy, they were all 900, so I would recommend you guys do the same. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be it for the video today. If you did, leave a like on the video and make sure you subscribe. That's going to be all again. Sorry for the five-day uh, absence. I was working on a lot of other stuff, but I will be back again tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Until then, bye, boys.